reached the National Human Trafficking Hotline. Para Español, por favor, oprima uno. If you are not calling about a specific situation of trafficking, please consider this. Thank you for calling the National Place to Talk. I was accused of, of human trafficking about two weeks ago. And I have a police report. They're, they're going after the person. But she has a, a number because she called you guys first and she has a case number. Um, well, we don't handle like law enforcement cases. These are just it creates case numbers that we have that we just keep information. Like any any sort of r report against you is not through us. So there's, be through law enforcement. there's no opening or closing of cases with the with your with your hotline. No, no. All we do is we take information, and if it's if it's supposed to be reported to law enforcement, we do that. But in terms of opening, closing anything, if we just keep the information for six months and that's that's it if we report to law enforcement then any sort of investigation any of that is handled by law enforcement not okay, by so once they make the call then they have no further communication with you she's making a lot of claims that like she's sending things to the trafficking hotline as well as the da and i'm really sorry that this is happening to you we we are just a, a resource to determine whether or not any human trafficking has taken place and um and yeah that's uh, that's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that so, was. I mean, I I guess that that was really all I needed just to kind of refute the claim because she's acting like there's an open case. She keeps saying there's an open case with the trafficking hotline, and uh, so. Yeah. No, we don't. Yeah, we don't. We don't like we have cases and we give case numbers, but we're not like oh, we'll determine sort of, whether or not it needs to be reported. And yeah. yeah, like we have no no standing to say like oh charges need to be brought against this person we can only tell law enforcement this is the information we have and they make the decision if they want to follow up on it can i ask is is, is it often that people call, fake these things to as revenge or is in your experience um i don't have statistics about that i, I don't know um but it can happen i mean there's plenty of people who in this world who if they're experiencing um you know, a mental health crisis potentially they can call. Um, there, yeah, there's a number of reasons why someone someone might might do this. Well, I think you answered my questions as far as if you know if there's opening and closing of cases or really at this point anything being sent would be heard of the police, not back to the National Trafficking Hotline, and that's kind of what yeah. she's, what she's trying to spin. So this really helps. That's what I needed to know. Yeah, we are not we are not a law enforcement agency. We we don't have the power to. To investigate anything we just relay information okay well yeah. thank you thank you very much you're welcome sir but